Hi, I'm Brian. This is Walking and Talking Spirituality. Thanks for taking a walk with me. Over the last couple of months, I've been going back to some core texts of mystical Christianity. I've been reading The Cloud of Unknowing, which is from the 14th century, and through conversations with friends, has pointed to even earlier predecessors of that document, and been reading the works of a person that scholars know as Pseudo Dionysius, fake Dionysius, <laughs> um, better known as Dionysius the Areopagite. Again, this was, I think, a Syrian monk, 5th or 6th century, who wrote under the name of a person that shows up in the book of Acts that Paul had contact with. But regardless, Dionysius has some profound teaching, and one of the interesting metaphors that he uses to talk about contempt, what we would call contemplative prayer or centering prayer or times of silent meditative prayer, whatever language you want to use, he likens the silence itself as souls that are trying to commune with God and God who exists outside of thoughts, outside of feelings, outside of uh, creation, the transcendent one. And he, he likens the process of sitting in silence to a sculptor chipping away at a block of marble until the true figure emerges. I think I've heard it said that Michelangelo, when he was asked how he created his epic statue, David, he said, I just chipped away at the marble everything that wasn't David. And Dionysius is way before Michelangelo, but it's the same illustration. So what does silence do? Silence strips away all of our false conceptions of God. It also invites us to let go even of our really good, positive conceptions of God in those moments of silence and just be soul to soul with the divine. It's a way that God removes all the idols from our lives. I call that a process idolotherapy. And it's supposed to be a little bit of a joke there, but uh, I, I do call it that, idolotherapy. So sitting in silence, doing deep contemplative work is one of the ways that God heals us from our past because most of the time when we have false conceptions of God, it's really our own projections of hurt, scared parts of ourselves onto the divine. So silence removes that. What else did God do? God also confronts us with sometimes uncomfortable truths about what we struggle with. Again, that can be outright sins. That's where the whole seven deadly sins tradition comes out of that. You get confronted with those spaces in your own life where those things still exist. Also, we can get confronted with our deepest fears, the things that make us anxious, the stuff we feel shame about, and those would be the sins that other people have committed on us. All that stuff can come up in silence and God can heal us. But then one of the most beautiful things, and this is what Dionysius was actually getting at with that statue chipping away is, in moments, God can give us the gift of union, which is really ineffable as an experience other than when it happens, you'll never be the same. And if you'd like more information or want to get into a deeper conversation, please reach out to me. Till next time, live by faith, be known by love, and be a voice of hope to others.